No more stinky knee pads. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> going to talk about volleyball knee pads. Um, in this video, I plan to address sizing, color options, impact levels, as well as affordable options and cleaning instructions. So I hope that you guys are ready. This video may be a little long. So the biggest question is, why would I even need knee pads to begin with? So knee pads help to prevent injury. They help to support your knees and they increase your overall performance in game. When deciding to choose a pair of knee pads, there are a couple of things that you really want to keep in mind. Price being the biggest one, how much are you actually willing to pay? You want to keep in mind the size of your knees and your legs. You also want to keep in mind whether or not your school or your coach has specific colors that they want you to wear. In addition to the level of impact that you need for your skill level. With regards to price, knee pads can range anywhere from $10 to $35 when you're not buying something that's medically necessary or when you're not buying something that has an um, attractive name brand on it. Um, the most expensive pair of knee pads that I have seen um, were a pair of Gucci knee pads and they were $340. I'll put a picture of those here. Um, they were at Nordstrom's, but I wouldn't waste money on something like that because it's absolutely unnecessary. But what you want to do is you want to find the knee pads that work for your skill level. Over everything else, you always are going to want to buy quality, 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 quality over name brands. Some name brands make better knee pads than others. So that's something that you always want to be 100% aware of when purchasing. One, some of the places that I have either purchased knee pads myself or sent my players to purchase knee pads are Amazon, Walmart, um, eBay. You could also purchase them from brand websites such as Nike, Under Armour, Mizuno, and Asics. But my number one, number one, number one pick is always going to be EpicSports.com. I would say before you check any of the other places, go on Epic Sports and see if you can find a pair of knee pads that you feel will fit well there. When shopping on Epic Sports, I would always recommend reading the reviews first, but that is always my number one go-to pick for everything. So when purchasing knee pads, you also want to keep in mind that knee pads are not one size fits all. Typically, the ones that are one size fits all don't fit all. They don't even fit most. So when you're searching for knee pads, you can do one of two things. You can go into the store and try them on. That's what I suggest. Or you can measure um, your knee. You can measure around the top of your knee, around the middle of your knee, and around the bottom of your knee as well. This will give you your measurements. And when you go into the store and you're looking at the bags on the knee pads, I'll show you the knee pads in the store at Dick's right here. Um, but when you're looking at the bags, you can look at the um, measurements for those particular knee pads. Now that is not a suggestion of mine. I don't know if you've ever ordered something online and you measured yourself and then when you got it, it didn't fit right because you took your measurements. It doesn't always work that way. So I would highly recommend going into the store and trying them on. If you can't try them on, do not buy them. So with regard to the proper use of knee pads, so a lot of people wear them incorrectly. Knee pads are to be worn just below the kneecap. That is how they're supposed to be worn, but depending on the type of knee pad you have, typically the thinner, shorter brands of knee pads are meant to be worn just under the kneecap as shown here. 
So one of the other important things when searching for knee pads is what color am I going to get? Now there are some brands that offer an array of colors, um, but most brands are typically very minimal with the numbers of options that they offer. Um, to find colored knee pads, if that's what you really want, my first option would be to type in Google and just write colored volleyball knee pads and see what you can come up with. Um, I know that Nike does sell different color ones. I think Mizuno has some different color ones. Epic Sports has a lot of different color ones. Wilson Brand makes some different color ones. Now, are they colors that you want? I don't know. But <laughs> my suggestion is always to either go black or go white um with the white knee pads they are typically more aesthetically pleasing if they're clean um and keeping white knee pads clean is like one of the hardest things in the world because let's face it gym floors are disgusting <laughs> so a lot of times you will be on the gym floor you'll slide you just cleaned your knee pads you get up and you're like oh my gosh they're dirty again so i recommend black knee pads always and forever while they may get dusty they typically don't show dirt the way that a pair of white knee pads would um for myself um i suggest that my teams and i will show you a couple of my teams here wear black knee pads um just because one of the things that i can't stand is when you take a team picture and everybody has their knee pads on and you've got that one girl with the white knee pads that have the brown stains on them not my favorite as a coach i can't stand to see that that's just my preference you want to check with your coach or your school typically if you have a say if you had a blue color jersey with white writing more than likely you would be wearing white knee pads and white socks with white shoes um just depending upon what your coaches ask for some coaches don't care um but my suggestion is to just always go with black if there is no suggestion from the coaches that's just me though <laughs> So with the amount of support or the impact level, typically beginners will have larger knee pads. Um, for my beginner players, because I coach middle school and rec ball, with coaching middle school and rec ball, um, I typically will tell my newer players to purchase larger knee pads, the either the ones that look like a four leaf clover, which I'll show here, or the ones that look like a turtle shell. I don't like the turtle shell ones. I think they look ridiculous. Um, but they have a lot of cushion for the knee. And when you're a newer player and you're not really that good and you don't know when to fall on the floor and when not to fall on the floor, a lot of times you'll just fall on the floor. Um, and so with that, I would recommend that you have a larger, more supportive knee pad for the impact. Um, you'll see a lot of more skilled players who will wear knee pads that are a lot thinner um and that just comes with the skill level because at this point they've learned when to hit the floor and when not to hit the floor like there are definitely times when it's appropriate to hit the floor but most of the time you should be able to stay on your feet and just move um but aside from that i know that some players don't even wear knee pads typically they're big players middles um don't necessarily have to wear knee pads but you know, it just is a personal choice whether or not to wear them, so. And finally, the thing that I wanted to just discuss with you is no more stinky knee pads. Oh my gosh, guys, no more stinky knee pads. Um, so a couple of ways to keep your knee pads clean. The first way is to throw them in the washing machine, put them in the washing machine on the gentle cycle in cold water in a bra bag with the rest of your volleyball stuff. Not only do you put detergent in there, but you wanna get some white vinegar, okay? Put like maybe three or four capfuls of white vinegar into that laundry load, and that will help to eliminate the odors that get stuck in your knee pads, okay? Now, when you dry those knee pads, do not put them in the dryer. The material that is inside of your knee pads 
doesn't react too well to heat now if you have to put it in the dryer every once in a while fine but don't do it all the time that's not an all the time thing um typically you should let your knee pads dry anywhere from 12 to 14 hours so that they're dry all the way through and that the smell can come out of them okay so that is the first way the second way i like to call the shower quick wash um if you're getting in the shower might as well throw the knee pads in there too put some soap on them if you can put white vinegar on them then to do it um just put some soap in them and while you're washing just kind of squish through them and you'll see the dirt coming out of the knee pads as you see the dirt coming out of the knee pads keep squishing until it runs clear when you're done with your shower wring them out hang them to dry again for about 12 to 14 hours um and then the final way or you could also do that in the sink you could do that very same method in the sink with a little bit of white vinegar soap and water you don't even have to use um regular soap you can use dish detergent that's fine as well a little bit of dish detergent and some white vinegar put them in the sink wring them through until they run clean and then hang them to dry or you can mix yourself up a little bit of spray in a spray bottle. You want to put one part white vinegar to three parts water and maybe three to five drops of essential oil of your choice and spray them down. Depending on how much you saturate them will depend on how long they need to sit to dry. Um, and then my recommendation is to just hang dry them all the time. You want to hang dry them so that the entire knee pad can get clean. For best results and minimizing injury, replace your knee pads every one to one and a half years. Also, you want to clean them at least twice per week. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.